We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Yeah, well, what she doesn't know won't come back to stab us. Look, just leave her alone. Thanos eradicated my people, destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. I will not rest. Until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Come find me, Peter. <gasps> Holy shit. Shit. No! What is no, this no, no, dark no, no. sorcery? Brute. Back, foul demon! Jeez! Oh. Oh, uh... I am Whoa. brute! Hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity! Hey, easy! You mind not breaking my face? I'm sorry, I panicked. How are you... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, come on. Who else could master these sick moves? Stop. Stop doing that with your pelvis. What? This? Mm, that is most disturbing. Okay. Great. Everybody calm now? Huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just... Everything comes at a cost. Just don't know what it is yet. Until then, this thing is just a ticking time bomb! Hey, I'm just happy to be alive, okay? Screw the cost. You don't know anything about this thing, Pete. What if it's temporary? Huh? Well, what if it does something to you? Yeah, easy to say screw the cost when you don't know what that is, you idiot. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Easy, Quill! That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. I am... Root says he's gonna puke again! <laughs> I 
think we lost her? This Hala lady's relentless. Why she want this Eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hala's hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life. And we then get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Huh? Yes, Groot. Now is one of those times. Agreed. Then we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hala will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. like being out in the open with Hala on our trail. Let me do the talking. Quill? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. Practically raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens to me. The least you can do is let me in. The least I can do is nothing. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home. Oh. I thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Hey, hey! No plants on the roof! I am Groot. That means you would be. These are my friends, Yandu. Great! Okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food! Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Wanna hear me talk? Okay. I'm gonna blow your friggin' head off. How's that for talking? Rocket, <laughs> we are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh, that is... Just his face! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 
I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. One can never have too many trinkets and little doodads. I know how much you like shiny stuff, but that one, it's mine. And calm yourself, Quill. I'm just having a look. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy for either of us. But, um, I'm not always going to be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Don't say stuff like that. This isn't easy for me either. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Wait! This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much, but you keep staring and suddenly they come alive. You start filling in the spaces, the lines between points in the sky, and you see it all clearly for the first time. It's all connected. That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. <laughs> that looks like... The Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing. It wasn't there before. What? What does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. 
Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Yeah, I didn't want to invite you into my own personal memory banks. Well, it's too late, boy. I saw your inside thoughts. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. It's hardly ever used anymore. I haven't seen it in ages. Ugh, why does everything have to be Cree? You did find it in a Cree temple. Details. Nah. I don't think it's a coincidence, though. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. Stand behind me, then. Sounds like a happy family reunion. You two can talk and, uh... uh sharpen your knives. I, I don't know, I've never had a sister. Nope, sounds about right. Nebula and I haven't spoken... in... some time. But I'm sure I can track her down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. <sighs> Enough <sighs> with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Now don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Well, if anything happened to you guys, I'd use it on you. The ultimate life insurance. Of course you would, because we're important to you. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her... ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to Half-World, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor... I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. If this person means that much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. <sighs> Let's get going. That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star-Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half-World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading towards the Collector's Museum on Nowhere. Peter, 
She's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. And once she has Thanos, if she goes off the grid again, I can't guarantee I'll be able to find her. I made a promise to Rocket. They're just gonna have to wait. Forget your promise! We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half-World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes I do. We're going to Half-World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. First the Collector, now this. I wish for once you would listen to me.